Christmas and welcome to day eight of Vlognica, the final one. So today I'm very excited and nervous actually. So I'm doing a classic, a classic YouTube style vlog of my followers decide what I do for a day. You might have seen these a few years ago where people posted Instagram polls of options of what people should wear and eat and do and all of that and their Instagram followers controlled what they did for a day. So I'm doing that but with a little Hanukkah twist or spin <laughs> we could say. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> so what I'm doing is my Instagram audience is still getting to vote on polls but they are not the ultimate decider. The dreidel is. So this is a dreidel. It is a game that we play at Hanukkah. It is like a spinning top and it has four different Hebrew letters on each side. Rowan's here, obviously. Yeah. You can't have this dreidel. It's very much a joking hazard. So in Hebrew, we say Neskadol Hayasham, which means a great miracle happened there. Although if you actually live in Israel, the dreidels have a different letter on because it's like Po. And I don't know whether Po is the word that means here or if Po is the letter. Anyway, it's a Po one instead of the Sham. So each of the letters on here is the first letter of each of those words. So Nes, a Nun, Gadol, a Gimel, Haya, a hey and sham a shin. And each of these letters mean something different when you spin it in the game. So essentially imagine everyone sitting around a table spinning the dreidel and you have a big pile of stuff in the middle and your own little pile. And essentially it's kind of like Monopoly. You want to own everything and you don't want to lose your stuff essentially. So if you spin a gimel, that's the best one. You, you want a gimel. That means everything that's in the center, you get to take that shit and you get to add it to your own pile. If you spin a hay, you get to take half of what's in the middle and add it to your own pile. So still pretty good, still pretty good, but not all of it. If you spin a nun, nothing happens. Nothing bad, nothing good, pretty boring. If you spin a shin, you, my friend, have to put one of your own things into the center pile. So that is the worst one, so you do not want to get a shin. So, as you can see, each side of the dreidel is very clearly ranked in terms of good to bad of what you want to get. And so, all of my poll results for the day, yeah, you see where this is going, don't you? You see where this is going, are also going to be ranked from the most popular result to the least popular result. So, your votes have informed the decision that the ultimate decider is going to be the dreidel. So if you haven't caught on, if I roll a gimel, I do the most popular thing. If I roll a shin, I do the least popular thing. And then, you know, like gimel, hey, nun, shin. Of course, caveat, I have a baby. So his needs trump everything. If you say something, the gimel says something, but Rowan's like, no, then Rowan wins. Just so we're clear on that. But last night before going to bed I asked a bunch of questions kind of set the scene for our morning but I'm going to keep asking questions on my Instagram as I go and then spinning my dreidel but first let's see what Rowan and I will be wearing today yeah are you excited for the dreidel to pick your clothes okay so the first thing is what am I going to wear so the most popular result the gimel is my daisy skirt then it is my nursing dress, so that I'll wear that if it lands on a hay. Then nun will be the flannel shirt, and then shin will be the stripy top. Okay, let's spin. Oh dear. Oh no, what have we got? What have we got? A nun. I think that means flannel shirt it is. Flannel shirt, Rowan, yay. Next up. What's the little baby gonna wear? Oh, this is nice and easy. This is like in popularity order from the fourth outfit to the one outfit, like in that direction. Dinosaurs, pumpkins, single dinosaur, or like green top and animal print trousers. Ooh. It's 
a shin, sorry. Least popular outfit, but the 12% of people who voted for that one, congratulations. I'm actually a big fan of that outfit because my mum got him both the top and the trousers. So whenever we're hanging out with my mum, I always dress him in that outfit. Okay, and then finally, not looking forward to this one. Should I do my hair and makeup? I hope that the answer is no. But unfortunately, 38% of you, the majority of you were like, yeah, do your hair and makeup. I'm sorry, rude. How dare you make me do more things when I'm a working parent? I don't have the time to do my hair and makeup. So the next one, the hay will be just hair. And then a nun will be no, don't do it at all. And then a shin will be just makeup. So I'm rooting for a nun here. A nun, come on. None, 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 none. Uh, hey, no, what's that? Just hair. I'm gonna put my hair in bobbles. I'm just gonna put my hair in a bunches. That's what we're gonna do. Psych. Okay, just hair. Mommy's gonna wear bunches today. Shall we get ready then for the day, Ro? Let's do it. This is where Rowan is gonna sit and play whilst I have a shower and get ready. No! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I swear this shirt has shrunk in the wash. I thought this last time I put it on as well, like, wasn't this oversized on me when I filmed that Stitch Fix video? Like, what? Oh dear. I mean, it still fits. It's got suction things on it, but he still manages just to like pull this whole thing off. Don't you? I am very glad that I won't be doing my makeup right now. Uh, I just need a tad of dry shampoo. There are only a few things that I can actually do with my hair. One, I could curl it with some straighteners. Can't be bothered, do not have the time for that. Two, I could plait it. However, it's not a hair wash day and I've only just been able to plait it at this length, but it has to be done whilst kind of a bit wet, otherwise, like, good luck. And so bunches is, <laughs> that's all we're left with because I have no idea what I'm doing. There we go. I did my hair! Please ignore the chaos on the bed behind me. This is what I'm wearing today. Right, time to get Rowan ready. baby is dressed too and he's very huggy right now. We've like accidentally dressed ourselves quite similar haven't we Ro? We're both in green! Mm. All right it's time for me to have my breakfast but what am I going to be having? Great question. So oh oh hmm okay so it's actually equal between the crumpet and the bacon sandwich by percentage and then lowest the cereal and then next toast. Let me actually find the exact number of votes because it's not actually gonna be that even, is it? By four votes, as I am looking at this, the crumpet is winning. Okay, dreidel time. Do, 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 do. What am I having for breakfast? Ba, 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 ba. A shin. I think that means I'm having some cereal. Was that the lowest one or is it toast? Cereal. I don't mind. <laughs> Let's see what else is in store for us this morning and then I'm gonna pop up a few more Instagram polls on my Instagram. <laughs> One, two, three. He's obsessed with the Teletubbies. He absolutely loves it. Okay. Rowan isn't due a nap yet, but I'm mentally and emotionally and maybe even practically preparing myself now, depending on how this dreidel rolls. So, the top choice, the gimmel, 
will be my choice. I get to pick. Then uh, hay will be leaving there, contact nap for the whim. Then it will be attempt to transfer to buggy and go out. That's actually my least favorite one. I regret putting that there. <laughs> and then the next one is attempt to transfer to bed. So if it's buggy or bed, I need to do some stuff to like prep for that before he actually has a nap. If he has a nap on me, because he might not actually fall asleep on me. And then we would have to go out anyway to try and get him to go to sleep in the buggy or something, whatever. We'll figure it out, but let's roll. Not sponsored by Big Potato. <laughs> Ooh, that wasn't a very good roll. What is it gonna be? <gasps> it's a kibble! Our first kibble! And it's a good one because it means it's my choice. So that means in the moment I can decide if he does fall asleep for me and that decision will be a contact nap 100%. It's just the easiest way to get him to sleep. Right, what morning activity should we do? So this will be like after the nap or maybe during the nap if I do end up having to go out with him. So top choice, singing at the library. That would be my top choice as well. Park and swings. We've recently discovered that Rowan loves swings. Cafe slash shops and then stay inside and play. Yeah, stay inside and play would also be my least favorite because go a bit stir crazy, not going outside. <laughs> Okay. You can't have it. Right, let's roll. Dee 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 dee. Wee. You see the spinning? Oh, what's that? A hay. I think that means park and swings. Are we going to go to the swings? Mmm, park and swings, Ro. What fun! And finally, of the ones that I did last night, what should I do when Rowan is at childcare this afternoon, when he's at his childminders? The top, top one is self-care. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> then next is life admin slash errands. And then next is nap. And then next is work. Okay, I secretly want this to land on a shin so that I do some work because basically keeping this entire day clear means that the rest of this week is manic for me and I'm definitely not going to get everything that I need to get done done so I would actually like to get some of it done today. Oops and isn't that just self-care for my future self really but let's see what this dreidel says. <gasps> uh, hey I think that was life admin slash errands. Dun, dun, dun. We're doing life admin slash errands today. How do I feel about that? I do have Christmas presents to buy. What if I run out of life admin slash errands to do? <laughs> we'll figure it out. Maybe then I'll do some work. <laughs> okay, so here's the situation. He had some booby, but he didn't fall asleep on the boob, but he still needs to have a nap. And so we're gonna head out now and hopefully he does a nap in the buggy on the way to the park and the swings. How about that, mister? But I asked another question on my Instagram about what I should be listening to because, oh boy, there is a lot of opportunity with a baby to be walking around and listening to things. So let's see what that is going to be. Okay, so the top choice is First Aid Kit's new album, which is all well and good actually because I'm seeing them this week. Ah, so I need to brush up my new album knowledge if we roll a gimbal. Then it is Emily Ogoski's Come As You Are podcast, then Witch Please, and then The Way of King's audiobook, which actually I wouldn't mind listening to because I'm really into it. Gonna roll. You just can't watch it this time. Ready? Go. Oh God, it's gonna go off the thing. It's gonna... Oh no, it's staying on. It's staying on the table. It is a nun. I think a nun means I'm listening to The Witch Please podcast. Yes, I am. I think I've got two episodes that I haven't listened to, so... Let's catch up with some witch, please. My fave Harry Potter podcast. <laughs> okay. He is asleep. So that's relief. It's gonna get a nap in. And now I'm just doing mental calculations of like usually how long he naps for and like which route to take to then end up at swings however 
he's gonna want to feed at some point so I'm like I don't want to feed you in the cold outside and so do we need to go to a cafe or maybe we could make it in time for the singing at the library as well because then we'll be inside and I can feed you there and then we can go to the swings but if we go to the swings after the library like will we have time to then get home and grab your milk and stuff before heading to your childminders I swear to god but also these like autumn colors in the background I'm into it this is lovely this is my vibe this is my vibe but yeah you know just listening to a really upbeat episode of which please about eugenics yikes I don't know I'm just gonna walk around see what I feel I've not made any decisions yet about which way we're gonna go which park which swings if we are even gonna make it to any swings but it would be nice because he loves it but only if he's like in a good mood i.e. fed hmm hmm so I don't know why I worry myself about things before they may or may not happen but Rowan woke up just as we were approaching the cafe in the park and so we just sat in there and had a nice little feed he seems in a good mood and we are now approaching the swings the playground I mean I say that he loves the swings we only just recently discovered this and he has been a bit kind of like different and moody the last few days so we'll see if he's still into it fun was had at the park and on the swings and now we're gonna just head home and chill out before I take Rowan to his childminders maybe we'll get in another nap who knows once I drop him off not my problem <laughs> we were out I asked what I should have for my lunch which I'll have after I drop off Rowan so let's figure out what that is going to be now because if it is a couple of the options then it means that I will have to get it on the way back from dropping off cheese toasty is the winner followed by McDonald's then Greg's then the bacon sandwich okay dreidel where's my dreidel it's in my pocket somewhere Rowan do, 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 it is a hay. <gasps> Think that means I'm getting a McDonald's. Okay, I'm actually really happy about that. <laughs> okay, mommy's gonna get a McDonald's after dropping you off. Ah, yum, 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 yum very pleased now i need to think if there are any life admin slash errands that need running whilst i'll be like out in a boot mm. and then i'll come home and continue this is I'm a free woman. The boy has been dropped off at his childminders. He fell asleep right as we arrived. And then obviously as soon as got through the door, just like woke up again. But hey, he'll be fine. He'll be fine. I am now off to McDonald's and I can think of one Christmas present that I can get whilst I'm out. But all of my other errands are gonna be at home. I've done so much walking already today. I need to like rest. Lunch has been had. I bought Dan's Christmas present, one of them. I accidentally bought it on the joint account, but I can think of a good lie as to why I was in that establishment. Anyway, <laughs> and buying things. I'm going to write a list everything life admin errands and whatnot that i need to get done today it's mostly house chores to be honest and i'm a bit miffed that's what i'm doing but it's good it's still good because 
the flat is a tip. And then, because I was like, I don't think there's a lot to do, I posted on my Instagram stories to say like, if I finish all my life admin stuff, what should I do? So now I'm gonna write my list and then we're gonna find out what I'll be doing if I complete my list. And I'm gonna go old school and like pen and paper this list just to like get everything in my brain down and then I can like satisfyingly tick things off as we go. Right, my list. It feels very short, so I think I will get through this, hopefully. Take the washing down, put away the bed sheets, do a row and clothes wash, bibs, because oh my goodness, that boy's getting through his dribble bibs so fast. <gasps> we need some bibs. We're out already. Okay, row wool wash, because we recently got a new delivery of some hand knitted cardies from his great granny, and I need to put those all through the wash. Wrap Dan's present. Tell the estate agent about the damp proofing. Or just make sure the estate agent knows about the damp proofing. They should already know, but I just wanna make sure that they're gonna be there to let them in, because I don't have keys to that house yet. I hopefully will in the future. Speaking of which, check the move process with the solicitors. Clear the draining board, and then buy Christmas presents. A online shopping, sort of. Plan Christmas presents. Right, let's get started. Let's do it. Let's go. Ooh, I forgot. What am I gonna do afterwards? So the most popular one is whatever I want, then take a nap, then watch TV slash YouTube, and then work. So let's see. Ooh. Oh no. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Shit. I get to do some work, which means I'm gonna be so fast with these life admin things so I can try and get like some work done. Oh, and then of course I have to pump before I go pick up Rowan. Right, let's go. I think I need to add sort Rowan's toys <laughs> to the list as well. It's just getting a bit chaotic now. I feel like we need to just, instead of having them all out all the time, just like put them away and then bring them out when it's playtime. just like putting all of the toys inside <laughs> this thing counts as tidying but there's no room left in there so that's what we're doing but it feels tidier <laughs> this sellotape is terrible i need to go get more sellotape but that can be a job for a different day <laughs> i'm not going outside again except to go pick up rowan <laughs> I mean, I think this sellotape has been in the drawer for, I don't know, multiple years. So it's lost a lot of its stick. But this wrapping paper, this last year's Christmas wrapping paper, we just had leftovers, so. clothes wash with the bibs is on and now I'm just gonna chill out and sort and organize some Christmas presents. Have a think about some Christmas presents whilst the telly is on in the background. But I'm pretty impressed with myself. I think it's been like an hour, maybe less than an hour and the majority of it is done. Okay, 
life admin done. The washing machine is still on, so obviously I will hang that up when it is done. And I have to leave to pick up Rowan in about an hour and 20 minutes. And so I am going to, as the dreidel decided, work. Which I'm feeling quite good about because on my laptop, like buying Christmas presents, obviously just like work stuff was coming up and I was just like, ah! I'm just gonna chill out here on the sofa and get bits of work done and feel a bit more prepared for the rest of the week. But I'm glad that all that like life admin stuff is done and the area around me is looking much more tidy and pleasant, so that's good. <laughs> and all of my presents for Dan are now purchased. Why am I getting him so many presents? He doesn't even like stuff. I just keep on finding things. I'm like, oh, Dan will like that. Oh, I think he'll like that. Mm -mm -mm. Yay. <laughs> It's pumping time. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> oh my god. This, I guess, is technically like work slash life admin because this is my first time using this pump. And so it's like life because it's pumping. But then also it's work because I'm doing some sponsored posts of them. I originally bought one of their pumps myself and then this is their new one. So, you know, just testing it out. Just testing it out. I didn't look it up beforehand about pouring out the milk. Oh my God. There's gotta be a knack to it. Just read the instructions, Hannah. Ooh. Out the top there, like the, there's a hole here and it looks like you just go like this. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Lovely. Lovely jobly. Milk. I actually feel like I've had a productive afternoon. I got quite a bit done. Thank you so much for following along with this day. Obviously the bibs are now drying, so that's that noise in the background. But I got everything on my list done and then some with some work as well. Thank you to all of you who played along in the Instagram polls. Thank you, my little dreidel that I'm now gonna have to hide somewhere so Rowan doesn't get his hands on. I'm about to go and pick him up, but I'm finishing the vlog here just because recently he has been a bit of a sad boy and needing lots of love and care and attention after his last nap in the evening. And so he is number one priority. It's not the dreidel on my Instagram followers controlling what I do. It's Rowan. So <laughs> I wanna be able to like fully focus on him this evening. And also Dan will then be getting back from work at some point as well. And he also does not like to be controlled. So <laughs> this is where we're calling it. This video is actually coming out on Christmas day. So if you are watching it, the day it's coming out, Merry Christmas if you celebrate. I hope that you're having a day. Also happy Hanukkah. And thank you for watching along with this year's Vlognica. If you miss any of the episodes, there's an entire Vlognica 2022 playlist so you can catch up. We're taking a little break from videos now over the new year period, but we'll be back in January <laughs> at some point with more videos for you. All right, good night. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. Mwah.